Hello, new and returning viewers. I'm Mr. Resident, and today we're watching the final episode of The Haunting of Hill House, episode 10. While this is the end of this series, no worries, my friends. There's plenty more wonderful stuff to come on this channel. But before we get into any of that stuff, we're going to have to finish this up, and I am looking forward to it. So let's go ahead and see what the conclusion of this terrific story will be. All right, let's go. It's a beautiful stairwell, but they do frighten me. I got it. Open it. What do you think is in there? Oh. Something was moving. I saw the shadow under the door. Is that the room Mrs. Dudley Hello? kept saying? What room? Because everybody sees if it differently. If there's a pony in there, it's dead. You're not funny, Luke. All right, now this timeline is just weird because they're all supposed to be alive together. What are we, like, 30 seconds in, a minute in, and I'm already confused. Terrific. <laughs> you think there are people out there that, like, get paid really good to just make intro sequences? Kind of like trailer cutters? I'm curious. Seems like it'd be a cool gig. I am home. I am home. What is home? I was gonna cook. I know, but she wants fries. No, no, don't eat McDonald's. How's writing? To grow a baby? Slow, it's really slow. Eat, it's the best cure for writer's block. <sighs> don't use those words. Fries, nothing but fries. Some houses are born bad. Ooh. Born bad. Too much? Hmm. It depends. Where are you? Built bad? Dad and I just got to the house, and um, we know Luke bought the gasoline. And you said yourself you're never going to publish I, it. I didn't even put it together. She's pregnant in this. So this is after those events from the previous episode, which is nice. Clearly, they <laughs> end up back together. You feel that? That little girl in there who's getting ready to join this family, one day she's going to ask about her grandfather and about her Uncle Luke. Whose voice did you need? The voice of truth. This is for little Eleanor. And they named her Eleanor. That is a spooky foyer. You smell that? Yeah. Gas. Gasoline. It's okay. Come on. Whoa. Ooh, he big. And creepy. Holy crap, I've already got chills. Oh, Abigail. And a very tall man. That guy might Look be the me. creepiest. Fear. We yield to it or we fight it. But we cannot meet it halfway. Could you stand there through that? Holy crap. I am home. That, that, that door's always been locked. Yeah. Only when it wants to be. But maybe with the two of us. Dad? No. Ski, wait! Why don't you come to bed? Get some sleep. Hill House will be there in the morning. You might want to watch a comedy before you do that. Well, we, we went into the house, and then we went to the red room. The door opened, and I saw Luke, and then... Luke died. N no. He, he was alive on the floor. And then the door closed. Is this the first time she's hearing this? You gotta finally say it, Steve. I, I, I can't say what happened. Does he know? I don't remember how I got out of the house. I, I, I don't remember coming back to California. Or finding out you were pregnant. That's got to be hard to hear. Well, of course you don't. I mean, is there anything real before you write it, Steve? Not until you chew it up and you digest it and you shit it out on a piece of paper. And even then, it's a pale imitation at best. This can't be real. You are an eater. You eat it and you shit it out. And then, and only then, is it real for you. Your life is plastic. 
you are a plastic parasite. This has got to be a nightmare. I picked up the check for your dreams and I said goodbye to mine and not even that was enough. Don't lie to me, honey. I wasn't real. And now this one. This. What's going to happen? Little one. She won't be real either. He had to have fallen asleep while riding or something. She must be an eater like her dad. Will you lose your mind? Like your mother. Steve. What in the hell was that? Ah. Hey. Found her. She came back, huh? It's a perfect place to get clean for a few days. No, the way she ran from him, this isn't real either. You, you took the money and you ran away. I got us this hotel room, and I found you the payphone, remember? Am I going to be like, what the hell is happening throughout this whole episode? One last time, just to get well before we get clean. I'm, I'm, I'm 90 days clean. 92, actually. That's not clean. Never really clean. Because one day that needle's going back in your arm. That's not true. <sighs> That's good. I don't know how anybody can do that. I mean, it's... No judgment, I'm just saying, the needles alone is like, get the fuck out of here. No, I will smoke a joint and mind my business. But you already did. If you look long enough at the wallpaper, it's the little girl with the runny egg. Eyes. Nope. 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 Oh shit, he used the rat poison? <laughs> Two of us. Dad! Uh, Steve, wait! Oh, no. Dad? They're all gonna go in there and get eaten by that house? Nope. That's not real. Dad! What is it behind her? Oh, is that? Dad! Oh my god. Shirley! <gasps> Ooh, she's got some kind of touch, huh? Finally, we're gonna get this. This is for you. Oh, um. Yeah. As my initial thought was it was an, an affair. It was an affair, and somehow the guy died. But I don't know. So I'm minding my own business over there, and uh, all of a sudden, had to repay you for the drink. Boneless Caribbean jerk wings. Serves me right. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be funny. I'd rather get a free app than a free drink. I didn't hear last call. Not me either. Time just. Well, I guess that's it. I've got all the makings of a mean martini in my room and want a nightcap. Fuck you, dude. Such a guy. I can't help it. It's taken 60 million years to develop the carnivorous biped you see before you. But somehow it failed to include a spine. I'm gonna say goodnight. Yeah, those lights shouldn't have gone off right then. That's not what you said, though. You had that martini, didn't you? That ring closed the deal. You went upstairs with me because of the ring. Because the ring meant... No strings. You had as much to lose as I did. You got dressed and you flew home and it was like nothing happened. You got away with it. I'm a good wife. So righteous. You don't want to look at it, do you? Shirley never wants to look. But Shirley has to look. Yeah, infidelity breaks the actually most important thing, which is trust. Once that's gone, what's the point? Unless you're just like both toxic and want to destroy each other. The instant someone dies, they learn everything. And that scares her so bad, she hopes she'll die first. Well, at least she feels bad. Oh, that's all right. I fixed her. Look at the state of those flowers. Oh, it's her. 
Is the whole episode just full My of metaphors? Surely. <laughs> we need help. This isn't real. He's dying. And Dad's still locked outside the room, right? When I was a child, my mother spanked me for throwing a rock through a greenhouse roof. It was the only time she ever. Just once. It was all she could take. And then never again. I thought about it for a long time, remembering the spanking. And after thinking about it very seriously, I went out and did it again. I don't feel anything. No, I don't. I don't feel anything else. Fear and guilt are sisters. I knew a man once who knew those sisters well. So we built a wall to keep it all outside. But those two sisters, they were in there with him. He felt small. So small. And when he woke up, he was so tall. Fear and guilt are sisters, Theodora. When you wake up, they'll leave you be. I'm feeling very uneasy. Just enjoy me. I feel like something good is going to be mixed with I'm something very, you. very bad. Yep. Too many hands. No. no. That's too many hands. <laughs> my hands are sweating. Oh my god. <laughs> Is Luke the tall man? Because she was just talking about two sisters in a room, a guilty guy. Fucking dare, Luke. Fucking dare. <laughs> You cannot mainline rat poison. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God, he hadn't looked this good in ten episodes. Sweetheart, you're awake. Oh, I've missed you so, so much. We're home, my love. When I was a little girl, about your age, I was driving in the car with your grandmother, and we passed a house ad adorned with a forest of red roses. And I fell in love with that house. I can live there forever, I thought. I love them too. No one will ever find me there either. I will light a fire in the cool evenings, and people will come to me to have their fortunes told. And I will brew love potions for sad maidens. A beautiful witch. I almost forgot. <laughs> Kind of touching, huh? Your big boy hat. Big boy. He is the tall man, isn't he? We're so glad you're finally here. My dad. You're awake. And I'm so sorry, honey. You were having such a nightmare. Have a seat. Don't. Go. It's way more just, emotional just than I thought it was going to be. Look at me. This is a gift. Please, don't. No, I have to get, I have to get. Please. Oh my god. Didn't expect that. She saved me. Hell. A stomach. No. A lot of stomach uh, stuff happening in this episode, huh? <laughs> Get it. All this time we tried to get into this room and now we can't get the fuck out. Here. It's irony. We have. All of us have. So many times and we didn't know it. It's the game room. It's our video game room. Is that what they're talking about? I feel a bit clearer now. Our moments fall around us like rain. <laughs> or snow. You're right. We have been in this room so many times and we didn't know. Mom says that a, that a house is like a body, bones, and skin. This room is like the heart of the house. 
No, not a heart, a stomach. It was always the bedroom. Take your tea. We'd be still and quiet while it digested. This music is too effective. You have to live. I don't know how to do this without you. I learned a secret. I am now gone. I'm scattered into so many pieces. Sprinkled on your life. New snow. I'm so sorry our last words were in anger. They weren't our last. Forgiveness is warm. Like a tear on a cheek. I'm supposed to feel good and be beautiful and stuff, but for some reason I'm terribly sad. The last was baby Gradin, all in his trundle bed. He stove him in the short rail until that child was dead. Some macabre poetry. Stay away. Get her, mom. That bitch killed you. Away. Forgive a girl for being lonely. Journeys end. In lovers meeting. Everyone is home. What were you doing? All this time away. I was holding the door. And I held it so hard. I didn't have arms left. The children are finally safe. They're dying. They're waking. I woke up. At the foot of these stairs, I dreamed of you and the children's laughter. And then I remember that you took them from me. And they suffered. They did. They all do. It's life. Whatever that life is, we bear witness. We love each other so well that it spread out verse and he created a new star <laughs> stars die this is our forever house it always was our babies are dying let them go i'll be alone again got her love consumed her family i would have followed you right into the darkness if you open that Him for his children. Journey's head. In lovers' meeting. Journeys begin at lovers' Journeys meeting. Journeys don't end. Not if you love someone. They don't end at all. Stay awake. Stay with. Sacred Heart's closest. I can navigate. Are you guys coming with us or? Go ahead. There's one more thing your brother and I have to do here. We'll see you there. What? Why is he keeping him here? Probably best you didn't say anything to them. Dad, what did I see? Why are you here? Our, our daughter snuck out of her bed tonight and we thought maybe. No, 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 oh no. She wasn't in her bed. Abby? Abby, Abby, what happened? Who 
hurt you, baby girl. And burn this house to the ground. Now, why didn't that happen? Horace, he can't. She's still here. Oh. This house, it's full of precious, precious things. And they don't all belong to you. I wish you would have told me. You didn't tell your sisters what you saw. Why not? Some things can't be told. You live them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. Whoa, wait a minute. Because he made the you deal with his wife. That he and your stay sisters. Okay. And your brother. We're the best part of my... Never been prouder of anything. Take care of each other. Dad. And be kind to each other. I was so lucky. Sacrificed himself for his kids. Yeah. So he's a keeper of a box of souls, huh? I've been so wrong about so much. A marriage can be haunted, and I let that happen to us, and I'm so sorry, Lee. I have something I, I have to tell you. Honesty. I'm, I'm asking you to love me for the next few minutes, and it, it might be the hardest that you've ever had to love me. Six years ago, I went to that conference in Chicago. And he already knows. I wish I'd been a better husband. What are you saying, Steve? The music's probably muted for copyright. My only wish is to come home, please. Who would have thought this would be a show about the journey of attempted redemption? Fear is the relinquishment of logic. Bringing his wife to die in the house so she could be with her daughter. We're here, Claire. Y'all did this to me. That's not fair. Stop it. <laughs> Hill House. Not sane. Stands against its hills holding darkness within. It has stood so for a hundred years and might stand a hundred more. And those who walk there, walk together. Damn. <laughs> mm. uh, that was terrific. Sorry for being a sobby, sobby boy. Something about redemption and families and love. Uh, with a good piece of music behind it will pretty much make me fall apart. <laughs> Definitely the best episode. There were some lines of dialogue in there that uh, were so good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching this with me. I'm glad I went all the way through. If I had judged what the last half of this series was going to be based on how I was feeling about the first few episodes and didn't continue it, it would have definitely been my loss. With that being as good as it was... There's no way that I can miss Bly Manor or Midnight Mass for that matter. If, if, if the quality of this is based on Flanagan, then I gotta watch everything Flanagan has done. Cause holy shit, casting was great. Way different from the haunting movie that I love from the 60s. But wow, it was terrific. The negative things I felt about the first few episodes weren't the series' fault. It was my fault for my own preconceived notions of what I was getting into. Anyway, with, with, with that said, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this with me. I loved it, and I can't wait to watch more Flanagan. So stick around. We're going to do it. Have a beautiful day. With love, maybe like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. You don't have to, but it helps. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.